Well, another another little piece of the usability puzzle is the idea of a table of contents in a report, or uh, what's actually technically termed a document map. Don't really like that phrase. I think table of contents is a term that everyone is familiar with. However, the reporting services interface is going to call this a document map. So, you know, whatever. That's what we have to call it, I guess, amongst ourselves. So let's actually do this. It's fairly simple to do. Uh, what I've got is a query. Let me just pull the query up. And it's attached with this video. It's in the course files folder. Uh, at least it is for me, and it's the document maps.sql. And this goes against the course database, and what it's going to do for us is return one row for every sale of every product that has been sold. Okay, I'll say that again. Um, it's every order detail, and it includes the product name, and the category and the parent category. So you can think of a, um, uh, da, 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 da. you could think of this like a hierarchy in here. Um, you could think that a product kind of fits in this little box here, and a product is contained within a subcategory, and then a subcategory is further contained within a category. Okay, and so what we're going to return is every single sale that has been made, complete with the product name, the subcat name, and the category name. Okay, so that's the query. You can download it and look at it on your own, but it's probably easier for us to just kind of talk about it here. Uh, here's the product name. Uh, here's the category, and here's the main category. So this. Tell you what, I'm going to rename that just because I uh, will call this subcategory and we'll call that main category there. Okay, so that way it's probably a little bit clearer given the description that I just gave. Okay, so the rear brakes is in the cat subcategory brakes, which is in the main category of components. And for this particular order, someone ordered one of those for $63.90. Okay. All right, so what we want to do is we want to make this more usable. You can see we've got 542 rows. So there's a lot of things we can do to make this more summarize-friendly, right? We could make a matrix report. That's a, a table report, something like that to summarize the data fairly quickly. So I'm going to come over here into the report builder. And let me close that out. And let me add a data set. That's sorry, a data source. And my data set will be built on that SQL file. So I'm just going to import that file we just, re uh, just read. So that was the. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Oh. Document maps. Okay. No parameters or anything in this one. We'll just kind of keep it uh, simple. Uh, I'll actually go through the table wizard uh, in this case, and for my table, I'm going to say that I want the main category as a row group and the subcategory as another row group. Uh, and then I would like some detail items so we can get things like order quantity, uh, line total, we can get the uh, product name here, we could be uh, even move it over here and just have it be a detail item. Uh, so, do you want to do subtotals? Do you want to do blocks? Do you want to do steps? Uh, how do you want to set this up? Okay. So, I think that it does probably benefit us to include the subtotals. That helps with the summarization. Okay. Uh, we don't have to do that. We can always add those in at a later time. But I don't want to expand and collapse the groups. Okay. So, I say next. Okay. Choose your beauty. We'll go with forest today. Uh, move it around um, my document map example. <laughs> uh, you've got all of your subtotals, your grand totals. Go ahead and run the report just to, again, make sure you got it right. And, you know, here you are, your main categories over here. 
Gosh, this is kind of getting to be long. We've got 14 pages of stuff here. Uh, so this is not that usable of a report. 14 pages going through to do summary data down here, uh, not so usable. Uh, sure, we can uh, make this a little uh, a little better. Like I could probably say, I want you guys to be currency and you know, whatever. You, know, you can set that up and do whatever you need to for that. Um, I'm going to expand that, expand that, drop this guy down here. Um, and I don't know which ones that I've done at this point. Uh, it's kind of obsessive to get it right, though. Once you start down the path, once I start changing one to make it look good, then I kind of have to change the rest of them. <laughs> uh, I, I got to stop. Okay. Um, so here's what we want to do. We want to add in this document map. We want to make it to where a user could pick out a given category instead of having to scroll through and say, okay, there's the accessories and where's that next category? There's accessories. There's bikes, but was that the start of bikes or was start of bikes on the previous page? There. We want someone to be able to click through directly to bikes. Okay. We might even want them to click through directly, not to mountain bikes, but directly to... Let's find another one. There's a couple of uh, bikes that we've seen here. Road bikes. Right? Might want them to just be able to click directly to that in a table of contents. So here's what you do. You're going to go to your main level. So like go down to your row group here. And you're going to double click on your row group. And you're going to go to advanced and there's your document map. And what it's saying is what do you want displayed in the document map? to map to this. Generally speaking, it is the same thing you just double clicked on. So we double clicked on main category, therefore I'm going to choose main category. Okay. And let's just, that, that's it, that's all I have to do. And watch when I run this. On the left side, we get our document map and I can click straight through to go to components. I can click through to go to clothing or to bikes. Okay. That's pretty nice, I think. Okay. Now, what we want to do also is further extend that document map. So we go back over here and say we want it to now include the subcategory. So go down to your row group, double click on the subcategory, and go to advanced. And what's the rule of thumb? Whatever you double clicked on is probably what you're going to choose right there. So subcategory. Run your report again. And now take a look. Now under components, I can go straight to brakes. Okay? I could go straight to pedals. I can click through to road bikes like we wanted to. That's much, much, much more usable over a large report than just a 14 scrolling page or even a click through uh, expand collapse set of groups. Now, unfortunately, there's not so many things that you can change over here. Like I don't, have, it says untitled because I haven't saved my report here. Uh, you can't change things like the text color, the link colors, things like that. But I think it's a fairly standard uh, way to sort of navigate through this. But these document maps, in my mind, they really do help a large report become much more usable by your friends, by your users.